Another feature in Moodle which can be useful is the calendar. You should have a calendar on the right hand side of your page within each course and from the home page whenever you first log into Moodle. When I'm viewing a calendar from a course, it will only show me events from the course I'm in, as well as any events that I have personally added to my calendar. Also from this small calendar, you can scroll your mouse over days with events to see a preview of that event. To see it in more detail, you can click on the name. If I want to see the whole calendar in a larger format, I simply click on the month. So here's my larger view of the calendar for this demo course. You can see there's not much going on this month, but there is something on the 16th. Since the name already appears here, I can click on that to view it in more detail. This is actually what's called a user event. A user event is something that I have added. The easiest way to go back to your month view is simply just to click the back button. If I want to add a new user event, I'll click on new event in the top right hand corner of the calendar. For the type of event, user is my only option as a student. So I can name that event and add a description if I want. And of course add a date. There are a few other options down here dealing with duration or repeating the event. If I'm done, I can click on Save Changes. And that brings me straight to that event. Now let's look at the calendar if you go to it from the home page. You can see that now my calendar for April has many items on it because this will be showing things from all of my courses along with my personal events. So again, to go to the larger view, you click on the month. Depending on if your professors have added events to your calendar, you could see several things listed here. You might notice that they are in different colors. You can use your events key in the top right hand corner to determine what they are. A green event is a global event, yellow is a group event, pink is a course event, and blue is a user event. If you only want to view certain types of events, you can click on the eyeball next to any of these to hide them. And that hit all of my course events. To view them again, simply click on the eyeball to open it again. You can also add a new event from this view. And those are the basics to get you started in your new calendar.